everybody. Uh, welcome to another Advent Weeding. Um, and today we hit the 20 mark. Uh, it is Sunday the 20th of December. Uh, and our passage for today is found in Luke chapter 2, reading verses 13 to 20. Uh, and the title given to this passage is The Best Words Ever. But as always, I need to go find the number 20 on my Advent calendar and uh, show you what's behind the door for today. So it's up in the top right corner. Uh, and let me show you what we have today. So today we have the letter K. So you can add that into the secret message. Uh, and we have Matthew chapter 2, verse 1, which says, After Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. Since we're talking about the best words ever, I wonder what are some of the best words that you could hear at Christmas time? Maybe it's something like, hey, you see that big gift under the tree? That one's for you. Or maybe it could be, uh, guys, there's plenty more turkey and stuffing. Does anybody want seconds? That's fantastic. Um, or maybe it could be, everybody, look outside. There's snow. It's a white Christmas. Wait. <laughs> I would consider those things good words to hear at Christmas, but the best words that were ever heard at Christmas were heard by the shepherds looking after their sheep on the hillside. The angels appeared to them and they said, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth. The rescuer has come. You know, God speaks to us today as well. He shares with us the best news ever and he shares it with us through his word the Bible. Not just any book, but a book that is God's voice speaking to us. The serpent will he might try and lie to us and make us believe that this is just an ordinary book written by man. But that's just not true. This is inspired by God. It's God's voice to us. The psalmist says that it's sweeter than honey to our mouths. God's word is amazing. It gives us life at its very best. And the best thing that it tells us is it tells us about Jesus. Christmas tells us that the words about Jesus in God's book are true. Everything that shepherds were told they would find is exactly how they found it. God's rescue plan was happening just as he intended it. God's book is all about Jesus. 